so it's day 37 now in my vlogs. And I've been meaning to take just this one straight one on one talk for me to the camera because I haven't really done it. And yeah, so here I am. I don't really have anything planned out to talk about. I was just thinking I'll just sit here and put the camera in my face and something will come out. It, it's April 20th, April 20th now. Four more months till I leave. I feel like I was actually stuck on five months for a while. It feels like I have. It feels like I need to do like a big adventure or something like something big and fun. But lately, I feel like I haven't. Yeah, I went to Santa Monica and Santa Barbara, but it didn't really feel like something I've never done before. I feel like I need to do something I've never done before. I've been meaning to bike to the PCH, like from my house to the, the PCH. It's like me, me, like 20, 30 minute bike ride to over there. Yeah. I've been meaning to do that for a while, but no, I really should realize my bike is actually flat now, so I have to get that pumped up, pumped. Yeah, I just feel like I need to do something big I've never done before. Lately, it's feel, felt kind of boring. I wonder who actually watches these videos. I know my like a lot of my family does now, but I wonder if there's like actually other people out there that keep up with me on my days of my vlogs. It'll be interesting what they think of my life. They probably think it's boring. I mean, if they do, it'd be nice if like they left a comment or something. If you do, if you if you're one of those people that watch my videos, you never met me ever before. Leave me a comment or something. I'll be nice to see what other people think. Watch no one's gonna leave me a comment, and then I'm just gonna look stupid. I'll make sure I do something like really big and fun, something I've never done before in the next couple of days. Cause pretty boring right now in my life. I don't know if I even should be talking about this, but it's part of my life and. These vlogs are supposed to be part of my life, so I guess I'll talk about it. Uh, my friend recently broke up with his girlfriend, well not ex-girlfriend, of like a year and a couple months. And he's moving on and everything. He's doing like all the necessary steps to get over that person. And Fortunately for me, I've never had to move on from that type of relationship because I've never had a girlfriend. It's not that I don't want a girlfriend, it's just that I don't, I don't rush anything. Like, I don't really need the label of having a girlfriend. I'm still really young, still have a long life ahead of me, so I don't need to rush anything. But yeah, he's moving on. It's weird how how she changed. Like, I remember having a conversation with her about how she felt and everything about him. And it's like, a, like I said earlier, in my earlier videos, if you remember, like how things change, people change, not everything stays the same. But yeah, it's a part of life. Just one of those things you gotta deal with. Not everything's gonna go your way, but that's when when things don't go your way and it sucks and everything, you just gotta deal with it. Cause that's all you can really do. There's no, like, there's no, there's no point in moping around and feeling sad for yourself and just dreading along each day. But that's why the best thing to do is just stay positive. That's always my outlook on life: is to stay positive, positive no matter what. Cause if you just stay on the negative side, it's it doesn't get you anywhere, really. You just you're just stuck in the same hole that you're in, and that's why I try to tell people, uh, well, my friends, when they're having problems or stressful, stressful stuff happening in their life, just stay positive. That's all you can really do. Stay positive. It's your choice to be happy or sad. No one else can make the choice for you. Do your best to think positive. Thumbs up on life.